Atlantis. List ye, O man, to the deep hidden wisdom lost to the world since the time of the dwellers, lost and forgotten by men of this age. Know ye this earth is but a portal guarded by powers unknown to man. Yet the dark lords hide the entrance that leads to the heaven-born land. Know ye the way to the sphere of Arulu is guarded by barriers open only to light-born man. Upon earth, I am the holder of the keys to the gates of the sacred land. Command I by the powers beyond me to leave the keys to the world of man. Before I depart, I give ye the secrets of how ye may rise from the bondage of darkness. Cast off the fetters of flesh that have bound ye. Rise from the darkness into the light. Know ye the soul must be cleansed of its darkness, ere ye may enter the portals of light. Thus I established among ye the mysteries, so that the secrets may always be found. I, though man may fall into darkness, always the light will shine as a guide. Hidden in darkness, veiled in symbols, always the way to the portal will be found. Man in the future will deny the mysteries, but always the way the seeker will find. Now I command ye to maintain my secrets, giving only to those you have tested, so that the pure may not be corrupted so that the power of truth may prevail. List ye now to the unveiling of mystery. List to the symbols of mystery I give. Make of it a religion, for only this will its essence remain. Regions there are two between this life and the great one, traveled by the souls who depart from this earth. Duat, the home of the powers of illusion. Sekhit, Hetzpet, the house of the gods, Osiris, the symbol of the guard of the portal, who turns back the souls of unworthy men. Beyond lies the sphere of the heaven-born powers, Arulu, the land where the great ones have passed. There, when my work among men has been finished, will I join the great ones of my ancient home. Seven are the mansions of the house of the mighty. Three guards the portal of each house from the darkness. Fifteen the ways that lead to Duat. Twelve are the houses of the lords of illusion, facing four ways, each of them different. Forty and two are the great powers, judging the dead who seek for the portal. Four are the sons of Horus. Two are the guards of east and west of Isis, the mother who pleads for her children, queen of the moon, reflecting the sun. Ba is the essence living forever. Ka is the shadow that man knows as life. Ba cometh not until Ka is incarnate. These are mysteries to preserve through the ages. Keys are they of life and of death. Hear ye now the mystery of mysteries. Learn of the cycle beginningless and endless. The form of he who is one and in all. Listen and hear it. Go forth and apply it. Thus will ye travel the way that I go. Mystery in mystery, yet clear to the light born. The secret of all I now will reveal. I will declare a secret to the initiated but let the door be wholly shut against the profane. Three is the mystery come from the great one. Here and light on thee will dawn. In the primeval dwell there three unities. Other than these, none can exist. These are the equilibrium source of creation. One God, one truth, one point of freedom. Three come forth from the three of the balance, all life, all good, all power. Three are the qualities of God in his light home, infinite power, infinite wisdom, 
infinite love. Free are the powers given to the masters to transmute evil, assist good, use discrimination. Three are the things inevitable for God to perform manifest power, wisdom, and love. Three are the powers creating all things. Divine love possessed of perfect knowledge. Divine wisdom knowing all possible means. Divine power possessed by the joint will of divine love and wisdom. Three are the circles, states of existence. The circle of light where dwells nothing but God and only God can traverse it. The circle of chaos, where all things by nature arise from death. The circle of awareness, where all things spring from life. All things animate are three states of existence, chaos or death, liberty and humanity, and the felicity of heaven. Three necessities control all things, beginning in the great deep, the circle of chaos, plenitude in heaven. Three are the path of the soul, Man, liberty, light. Three are the hindrances, lack of endeavor to obtain knowledge, non-attachment to God, attachment to evil. In man, the three are manifest. Three are the kings of power within. Three are the chambers of the mysteries, found yet not found in the body of man. Hear ye now, he who is liberated, freed from the bondage of life into light. Knowing the source of all worlds shall all be open. I, even the gates of Arulu, shall not be barred. Yet he, O man, who was into heaven, if ye be not worthy, better it be to fall into the fire. Know ye the celestials pass through the pure flame. At every revolution of the heavens, they bathe in the fountains of light. List ye, O man, to this mystery. Long in the past, before ye were man born, I dwelled in ancient Atlantis. There in the temple, I drank of the wisdom, poured as a fountain of light from the dweller. Give the key to ascend to the presence of light in the great world. Stood I before the Holy One, enthroned in the flower of fire. Veiled was he by the lightnings of darkness, else my soul by the glory have been shattered. Forth from the feet of the throne like the diamond, rolled forth four rivers of flame from his footstool, rolled through the channels of clouds to the man world, filled was the hall with spirits of heaven. Wonder of wonders was the starry palace. Above the sky, like a rainbow of fire and sunlight, were formed the spirits. Sang they the glories of the Holy One. Then from the midst of the fire came a voice. Behold the glory of the first cause, I beheld that light high above all darkness. Reflected in my own being, I attained, as it were, to the God of all gods, the Spirit Son, the Sovereign of the Sun Spheres. There is one, even the first, who hath no beginning, who hath no end, who hath made all things, who govern all, who is good, who is just, who illumines, who sustains. Then from the throne there poured a great radiance surrounding and lifting my soul by its power. Swiftly I moved through the spaces of heaven. Shown was I the mystery of mysteries, shown the secret heart of the cosmos. Carried was I to the land of Arulu, stood before the lords in their houses. Opened they the doorway so I might glimpse the primeval chaos. Shuddered my soul to the vision of horror. Shrank back my soul from the ocean of darkness. Then saw I the need for the barriers saw the need for the lords of Arulu. Only they, with their infinite balance, could stand in the way of the inpouring chaos. Only they could guard God's creation. Then did I pass around the circle of eight, saw all the souls who had conquered the darkness, saw the splendor of light where they dwelled. Long I take my place in their circle, but longed I also for the way I had chosen when I stood in the halls of Aminti and made my choice to the work I would do. Passed I from the halls of Arulu down to the earth space where my body lay, arose I from the earth where I rested, stood I before the dweller. 
gave my pledge to renounce my great right until my work on earth was completed, until the age of darkness be past. List ye, O man, to the words I shall give you. In them shall ye find the essence of life. Before I return to the halls of Amenti, taught shall ye be the secret of secrets, how ye too may rise to the light. Preserve them and guard them. Hide them in symbols so the profane will laugh and renounce. In every land form ye the mysteries. Make the way hard for the seeker to tread. Thus will the weak and the wavering be rejected. Thus will the secrets be hidden and guarded, held till the time when the wheel shall be turned. Through the dark ages, waiting and watching, my spirit shall remain in the deep hidden land. When one has passed all the trials of the altar, summon ye me by the key that ye hold. Then will I, the initiator, answer, come from the halls of the gods in Amenti. Then will I receive the initiate, Give him the words of power. Hark ye, remember these words of warning. Bring not to me one lacking in wisdom, impure in heart or weak in his purpose. Else I will withdraw from ye your power to summon me from the place of my sleeping. Now go ye forth and summon thy brothers so that I may impart the wisdom to light thy path when my presence is gone. Come to the chamber beneath my temple. Eat not food until three days are past. There will I give thee the essence of wisdom, so that with power ye may shine amongst men. There will I give unto thee the secrets, so that ye too may rise to the heavens, God, men, in truth. As in essence ye be, depart now and leave me while I summon. Those ye know, but as ye know not. <laughs> 